yes, this is what I look like at 5 a.m. Do not judge me. I'll get better throughout the day, I promise. But yeah, I thought that it would be fun to take you on a typical day right, right now. Like things are a little bit new, things are a little bit hectic. It is about 5.30 this morning and I am already at my studio. Don't have any morning classes today, so I'm actually gonna go for a little jog this morning, wake myself up, get some movement in before I have to teach for the rest of the day and work on my computer. And I'm gonna take you guys along for it. It is humid, but I don't have much farther to go. So let's get her done. Run is done. I am dripping, dripping sweat. Oh man. Oh, summer in the South. It's just blah. So now I'm going to go gulp some water, um, grab my keys, grab a towel because I have to go sit in the car and I don't want to get my car seats all nasty. And then we're going to run to the grocery store, pick up a few things, then come back here and get ready for first classes. Groceries acquired. And what time is it? It's like 7.15 or so. And then I did do a splurge. This is Spindrift was buy one, get one free. And I don't know, this sound really good. The pineapple flavor. Never tried it, but we'll do a taste test later on. Have you guys had this one? I'm not a huge Spindrift fan, but I feel like pineapple would be super delicious. So I'm excited to give it a shot. And then I had to just pick up some lettuce and a couple of different ingredients that I needed for some recipe development later on this week. So that is done. And now I'm headed back to the studio in which it'll be perfect timing for me to get some social media work done. And what else we got going on this morning? I've got to get the board ready for Fit Women's Weekly Live, get my class workout ready for our studio in-person class, and then I'll get to go home and eat some lunch. So I'll make sure to show you guys along the way though. But yeah, this is a typical morning. It's very go, go, go. Um, right now it's just a very busy season in our life and that's okay. It just means the days go by really fast and sometimes the day goes by and you're like, oh, but I need another extra, extra hour. But I try to remind myself and it's important for you to remind yourself you're only one person and can only do what you can do, right? So the technology that the live system that we use works, if I were to write it the right way, it would be mirrored for our clients. So I have to write it backwards so that they can see it correctly while they're working out. So now it's time to get back to work. I got a comment on some social media posts. I need to get a reel up. I need to get um, actually two reels up, one for an ad channel that I run, one for my personal brand channel. And then I also need to put those up on TikTok and also put them up as a YouTube short with all the platforms. And then that'll put me right at time for my in-studio class, which I will not show that, it's not fair to them. And then I will show some images and some footage of Fit Women's Weekly Live. Heads up, if you're interested in Fit Women's Weekly Live and you're like, what is this that you're talking about? This is our live fitness studio where we do two classes. And by we, I do two classes every single day one in the morning, one in the afternoon. We are getting ready to kick off our 11th, I cannot believe it, Summer Shred Challenge. This is an eight week transformation challenge 
with a training plan, with accountability, with coaching classes, everything that you need to use the summer momentum that we build up way to increase your fitness, increase your body's potential to burn body fat, increase your strength, see some amazing results, and registration is open. So go check out the link down below. I have finally freshened up a little bit. I try to look somewhat decent when I teach classes, whether that is teaching in person or doing a live workout. It just makes you feel more confident, it makes me feel like I've got some stuff together in my life, like I'm adulting. Um, so yeah, I'm getting ready. My lady should be here pretty soon, but because I just put on my makeup, I figured I'd show some of my secrets. Like I did not put on very much makeup. I don't have any concealer or anything on, but I do love during the summertime this super goop, which this is the glow screen, it's 40 SPF, but it has such like a dewy natural, like great shine that normally I would put a, a very, very thin layer of foundation on, but with this stuff, I just don't feel like I need it. And then my other secrets are, I love this Biosance. This is their um, lip balm and this stuff is amazing. It adds a little bit of shine, but also just feels really good on your lips. And then I just put a little bit of blush on mascara this is nothing fancy this is the Maybelline colossal mascara love this I think I have like two sticks in here and that's all I do I do wipe my face down beforehand and I just keep these in my makeup bag I actually is the last one today um, yes to cucumbers cooling wipes so face is cleaned face is put together I am energized I'm hydrating I end up drinking a gallon of water a day, so I got a little bit more to do. I try to get through all of this by time I'm done here in the morning, which is 11 o'clock. So when we are finished with our classes, I'll check in, let you know how it goes, and we'll check in on the water situation. But with it being as hot and humid as it's been lately, I've actually been getting over a gallon of water in, so I'm not really too worried about that. All right, back out. <laughs> Workouts are done. Yes, <laughs> I had an awesome, so I go back and forth between the afternoon and the evening classes, whether I do a 30 minute workout or a 60 minute workout. Today, here in the studio this morning, I did a live 30 minute workout followed by a 30 minute strength session. So yeah, it was a good one. Our uh, 30 minute workout, I'll actually post down below. It was a variation of a workout done at the Atlas Games that one of my clients requested and I'm all for it. So I worked it into our training this week. And then our coaching I did we're doing an eight week strength session right now on deadlifts and bench press. So today we did bench press. We worked on 75% of our one rep max and 80% of our one rep max. That got real tough, real fast, but it is done. As far as water is concerned, I, as my bottle says, I am almost finished. So I'm gonna drink this on the way home. We're gonna go make some lunch and then we're gonna sit down and get some important to do's done on the computer because it's not just working out all day. I gotta run the business too. So let's go eat and then let's go work. I put these clips at the gym so I would remember to bring them home. <laughs> these things are the best things ever. Lunch time. And I pretty much have finished my water. First half gallon done. So this guy gets filled up immediately. And then my first drink, well, let me fill up. And then normally my first drink when I get home is an electrolyte drink mixed with athletic greens. Out of athletic greens, though you don't have to be, if you use code FWW, you get free travel satchels with your order as well as a year supply of vitamin D. But where's my other water bottle? Oh, here it is. Uh, I normally do athletic greens mixed in with my electrolytes. So we're just gonna go with the electrolytes. And I just kind of look forward to this one all day because after drinking half a gallon of water, I'm like, I want some flavor, which is why I'm excited for the spin drift. And that is in the fridge. So I'm gonna reach around you, <laughs> grab my electrolytes. Ugh. I use the Ultima, love these, tastes good, mixes well. Um, you don't need a ton because it has a good flavor to it, but because I do sweat a ton clearly, uh, and I've done already so much, I do a heaping spoonful versus like a flat spoon. Mix that up and I'll also put some ice in here for a second too because I've been drinking room temperature. I don't know, it's just something I look forward to when I get home. All right, lunch time. I wish I could say that I eat out of like a normal bowl. This is, these are my favorite bowls that I have, but 
I prefer to eat my lunch just out of this. It's also what I drink my shake out of. I don't know why. I just, I have a bowl. It washes well. Um, it's the right size because I like to sit on the floor when I eat my lunch. So it's just what I do. Oh, shoot. It's fine. Five second roll. They've already been rinsed off. And then what else am I going to do? I've got my arugula. Ooh, I have some sun-dried tomatoes left over from a recipe. I also have tahini. And let me see if I have some lemon, because that would be really good. Found one. And I have a little bit of rice that I'll mix in with that too to get some healthy carbs. So yeah, there's lunch. Oh, and I made chicken breast over on the weekend. So I'm gonna do half of that, which is five ounces. So take half of this. So for myself, I do, this is basically a typical lunch. And then for my husband, I make him every day well, I don't make it every day. I prep a couple at a time. Like I do three at a time. A big batch of chicken salad. And then I normally put some fruit on the side, which is why I bought plums today. For his lunch, he doesn't like food that he has to heat up just to be nice to other people around him. So that's why he's on a chicken salad kick right now. So a big old thing of chicken salad, a big handful of almonds go into his lunch, and then he gets some kind of fruit or something a little bit extra, which he had strawberries earlier this week. And then he doesn't know it, but I got him those plums. So I kind of try, he's new. Like my husband being at work is definitely a new process and something that we're still getting used to. It's only been, this is his second full week, something that we're still getting used to. And I guess because it's still new, I'm trying to make his little lunches special to him where he'll open it up and be like, oh, this is such a treat. I'm just gonna heat this guy up, open up my arugula. I have already rinsed it stick it in here. I actually prefer iceberg lettuce during the summertime. It's just cold. It's refreshing. It's crispy, but I try not to do it too often because I try to make sure that the food that I eat is as nutritionally filling as possible. Do a big old squeeze of lemon. Basmati rice. I have left over. We've been eating a little bit of it each day. I'm not even going to heat it up. The chicken will heat it up. You ever had um, rice pudding? That was like my favorite thing growing up. I'm just going to do a couple of cherry tomatoes. And I'm just gonna do a little sprinkle of mozzarella. We normally don't eat too much cheese, but I had some again from another recipe that I did. So I also do not waste food. So a little sprinkle of that. Sometimes people are always asking if I track macros. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Right now I'm more focused because I've had to increase the intensity of my workouts. I'm not quite ready to try to go into a lean out phase or really focus too much on tracking my specific macros each day because I'm trying to figure out what my body needs in order to adjust to the higher volume that I've been doing. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I've talked about it over on my Instagram account. Because my husband has gone back to work, we used to share doing, so we have a studio, which you guys obviously saw, and then Fit Women's Weekly Live, and we would split the classes each day. So he would teach the afternoon classes, I would teach the morning classes, and with how things are currently, uh, right now at least, I'm teaching all of them. And so that's added another hour of fitness to my day, which for some people that would be very dangerous and put you into an overtraining state. For me, because this is my job, this is what I do, and I've been so consistent with exercise over the past few years, I am listening to my body and I do try to focus on not every workout being crazy hard because I just can't do that anymore as I've gotten older. But I am also making sure that I spend time recovering, that I um, am fueling myself, and that's why, that's the whole reason I'm bringing that topic up is I am trying to eat more to handle that extra hour. So I've got about a tablespoon of tahini. I squeezed some lemon on there. I am gonna put some salt. Do I have salt? Where's my salt? Oh, and I dropped things. Salt that I'm using. I've got some healthy protein, a lot of good protein in there, some healthy fats from the sun-dried tomatoes, and I put some of the olive oil in from the container too, and then the tahini as well, and then some of the healthy carbs from that basmati rice. Now I go sit down on the floor.
then yes, I realized that I have not showered yet today. I've just been so focused, but I'm gonna go get in the shower now. Then I'm gonna have a shake. Mm, I probably won't have a shake. I'll explain in just a second. Ew, 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 ew. Okay, I'm cleaned up, fresh clothes. However, I went to go get some stuff out of my makeup container in my bathroom. And part of living in the South is that we have these things called palmetto bugs. They are cockroaches on steroids and you just can't help it. Especially when it's hot and humid outside, you're gonna get them no matter what kind of stuff you got going on when it comes to pest control. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I see it's little. I don't wanna freaking spray. Oh, damn it, I got the wrong one. <sighs> That's a rule in our house. It's whoever sees it has to kill it. But it's in my makeup bed. I don't wanna spray my freaking makeup with hot shot. But at the same time, it's in like a smallish container. Okay, wish me luck, I'll keep you posted. I got him. I would show it to you, but you don't wanna see it. Another thing about roaches, if you're looking to be educated, is that even when their guts are on your floor and you think there's no possible way that sucker could be alive, oh, there's a way. So you never just leave a dead roach sitting around assuming that your husband or somebody else will pick it up. You just have to suck it up and kill the mother you know what. Or Anyways, I'm gonna wash my hands. I'm gonna have a snack, which, Here's the thing, normally for the past several years, I have a protein shake about now. And that was all fine until I started having to go back to my studio and do another workout this afternoon. And that did not settle well today. So I have zero desire to have a protein shake and have it just sit in my belly while I am working out. And so while I'm still adjusting to all this. Instead, I'm gonna do two or three rice cakes, one with nut butter, one with a um, little bit of cheese and some deli turkey. And then I haven't decided if I have the third one, we'll just see. Uh, I'll probably do another turkey one to get some of that extra protein in. So that's the plan. I'm gonna go ahead and call this a day, <laughs> a day in my life, because after this, after my snack, I go back to the studio and basically do the exact same thing that I did earlier today. I teach another class in the studio, I do another live workout, and then I have a one-on-one -on -one tonight as well until 7.30. Uh, and then I'll finally be able to come home, relax a little bit, cook some dinner with my husband and chill. And I really appreciate that time together, so I'm not gonna film that. But anywho, that's a day in my life. If you have questions, and yes, I'm obsessed with cleaning. If you have questions, comment down below. If you like these videos and you wanna see more day in the life, or you have questions about the business side of things, let me know. I got about a good three hours done of just solid work. I worked on an email. I worked on a summer shred program that we're getting ready to do. I'm working on a product that we're gonna be releasing on Vimeo soon. And then you saw me working on that YouTube video, which will be out this Thursday on Bulgarian, or by the time when you see this, it's already been out. So go check that out on Bulgarian Split Squads. All right, thank you so much. Make sure to like the video, subscribe, and go check out Fit Moments Weekly Live and join in on that Summer Shred Challenge.